And it's always such a struggle because it's the weather has been so nice. Mm. You yes. know, I take my dog for walks right. and mm -hmm. we're like, let's go to you the trail. But then it's like, I okay, know. well, we're checking. You gotta check. You gotta check. So I keep my dog small. Less yeah. surface area. <laughs> easier. Small is unfortunately low to the ground. So I don't yeah, know how that works. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, and so I don't know how it works out. Beautiful day today. Satellite, we're just seeing the last of the clouds moving down out of uh, Massachusetts where they had a totally different situation over the past few days. Temperatures falling quickly. Uh, sunset, 625, something like that. And uh, temperatures are down to 58 in Portland, 58 in Paris, 59 in West Cassett. And this is actually going to be our coolest night of the stretch with temperatures dropping into the 40s uniformly. There'll be a couple of 30s out there too, kind of around the edges, Freiburg up into Berlin into far northern Maine as well. And then even right along the immediate coastline, we drop into the low to mid 40s. That's because the wind tonight will not be off the water. So no moderate influence from the ocean tonight. I'm going to go through the next couple of days pretty quickly because nothing's going to change. It's going to be just sunny and pleasant, more or less. 45 overnight, 70 during the day. That's pretty much where we're living at. So tomorrow is just a little bit warmer than it was today with uh, a few more 70s around. We do the same thing again on Thursday, upper 60s to around 70 degrees and a lot of sunshine. A little variation here on Friday as a low gets closer, maybe some fog along the coastline, a few more clouds, especially over southern and western Maine. That keeps temperatures in the upper 60s. But if that's the, the whole variation we're going to have. That's not much high pressure under control here, just pushing down from Canada and there's a low digging into it. That's as close as it gets on Friday. But again, I'm not really overly concerned about it because it's able to hold off any precipitation. So here we are Wednesday, Thursday, and then there's that low Friday. It's actually kind of a tricky forecast for um, Massachusetts and Connecticut, but that's not my problem because there'll be rain just down to the south there staying away from us over the weekend into early next week. And even the front that was originally modeled on Monday night is getting kind of washed out to really no precipitation, which means we could have a very extended stretch of no rain here. You can see it stays all down across the Cape and the islands all through the weekend into early next week and a bunch of donuts here across Maine. Big Ridge, this is what you want. Ridge, trough in the West. That's where you want to be at unless it's July or early August, sometimes this can be a bit much, but I'm, we could be looking at, I'm trying to think about this. Last weekend was dry for most of us. Um, we could be looking at 10 days in, in quite a few spots of no rain, which is not something we do a whole lot around these parts, in case you didn't notice. Uh, we start gradually getting warmer. Sunday into the mid 70s, same deal on Monday, and there's a chance mid next week we could pop a couple of 80s. Not a 100% guarantee, but the signal is there and it's certainly doable hmm. this time of the year. I, I have a memory of um, a friend getting married in mid-October and it was 85. So, yeah. you know. Not the um, fall wedding they dreamed of. It wasn't, yeah. but you, know, you take what you can get. Uh, so yeah, this is just an amazing stretch of weather. It gets a little bit more summery towards the end of it. Wild. Okay. Awesome. Keith, thank you.